Hello, my name is Danielle and I work at the Grand Ledge Area District Library. Today we'll be learning how to make tissue paper votive holders. So if you have your bag, you want to open it up and here's what should be inside. The instructions, very important. A February newsletter, things that are going on at the library in February, very cool. Your votive, which is glass, this one is square, some of them are round or oval in shape. Some Elmer's glue, part of a sponge, six Q-tips, a baggie with different shaped pieces of tissue paper, and a little votive candle. Um, things that will not be in your bag that you may need are paper towel, some water, and a pair of scissors. Okay, so first thing we're going to do um, is get one side of our votive wet. Take our sponge and just, just get it wet. And we're gonna wanna take our glue. You can also use Mod Podge if you have that at home. Um, what's in your kit is Elmer's glue though. And it was taped so that it wouldn't come off in the bag. So after you undo that, you can take either your Q-tip or your sponge to do this. But we're gonna take different pieces of colored tissue paper and you might want a pattern. You might like different shapes. Um, I've chosen rectangular squares, also some diamonds. Um, for mine, kind of like a geometrical shaped uh, pattern for me, but you can do whatever you want and whatever color scheme you want. And what I'm gonna do is use my sponge or Q-tip, either one, and get glue on it. And just take the side that was wet and put your paper where you want it and then pat it down with glue. Make sure it's covered, and when it dries, it'll dry clear, so you don't need to worry about the extra white. So it looks kind of like that. And now I'll take a purple piece, kind of overlap it a little bit. Okay. Oh, now I think I'll do pink. You can add the water to the glue itself, or you can just kind of dip from one to the other, which is what I'm doing, just to make sure that it's thin enough to stay on. Okay, you don't want to scrape too hard because that'll rip the tissue paper, but good news is you can just take it off and start over. Okay, we have finished all four sides. It's gonna take a while to dry. So you might wanna sit it out overnight and try not to touch it. But when it's all done, you can stick your votive candle in and light it and it will make pretty designs throughout your house. Thanks so much for spending time with me. See you later, bye.